um, the first time I heard about OSE was through the TED Talks, which I um, seen echo quite a few in uh, quite a few people here today. Um, quite amazing to be here after only watching a TED Talk and being so completely in awe over the um, possibilities that this could have for the whole world. I didn't think I'd ever be here actually taking part in um, an actual build, but um, very happy to. So the project that I'm uh, part of is called the Peak Collaboration, and that's with the Tribal College and then South Dakota School, uh, OLC, a tribal college, um, South Dakota School of Mines and Technology, and then SDSU, South Dakota State University. And the idea is we're trying to get more Native American students involved in STEM, um, because a lot of times we have um, these projects on the reservation and it's hard for the people to buy in because there's a kind of a disconnect there when they come in um, there's been a history of um, them coming to do the work and they leave they don't follow up they don't maintain the work so um, the people the tribal citizens are naturally not they, they distrust um, outside engineers and stuff so the idea is to create the engineers in the community and uh, um, part of my summer work is creating this makerspace and we were just gonna buy a 3d printer and then um, do it that way and then he said man this is a great opportunity and uh, we got the approval for it and here I am so um, I I'm working on as a kind of a personal thing a, a particular type of robot and this is actually just being here is kind of inspiring to me because it's like man I haven't I haven't actually even even though I'm an engineer I haven't really got my hands dirty in a while and just built something uh, my brother-in-law actually he he told me that he came here and helped out with the uh, aquaponic system and he showed me that tractor right there and I thought it was pretty damn cool and we've been planning for about a month or so to come here and build some 3D printers make some toys for our kids okay um, so I think we should get down to the workshop what we'll do is uh, so have one team on the frames one team on the extruder one team on um, the beds so th maybe like we'll start with three teams or so three or four teams uh, but in essence, all the different pieces are assembled as parts, and then that's done all together. We work on te as teams because the thing that we found out, if you do it as a team, then you're literally a production line of, you know, we've got four axes times 13 printers. Like, imagine that. Like, to quality control that, if you're going by person, is literally impossible, unless you have, like, an inspector for every every station. So here when we build all of them, all the X's, which is 13 of them, all gonna be the same. So you can take a look at it and see, okay, are they all looking good? So as soon as the first one is built, as soon as that, that can be quality controlled, and we actually have a machine out there that that is a sample, but you can visually readily see it that this is okay. So that way we can actually also verify that okay they have to look the same no I thought it was gonna be really cool come out here and meet some people with uh, some level heads very creative people all like as soon as I got here I noticed that they're all real nice uh, they were very creative forward-thinking people I don't like it but as far as what I got from the experience other than that um, you know all these people are talking it's all kinds of people here and I think I was mentioning to somebody earlier there uh, you hear all these interesting, creative ideas that you just don't hear in a normal crowd of people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, anytime you can fellowship and collaborate with like-minded people, I mean, it's just, it, it, um, it, it creates a level of engagement in some other projects don't. Um, and I think that's one of the things, as far as motivation goes, is you have to have people engaged, and that's the mind, spirit, and body being in the same place. And that's hard, especially with some of the work that we do yeah, the mind's there and the body's there because it has to be. But sometimes the spirit's not there. And, and, and until you kind of, that, and I think um, engagement is that nexus and I think that happens here. With, oh, um, yeah. yeah, we did team workstations. So everybody was assigned to different tasks for the, you know, so that we could all snap together our printers at the end, you know, all together. So each piece of the printer, literally from the frame, <laughs> down to each little um, mechanism we worked on is teams. Um, I was on one, one I mean, and you were on several teams throughout the day. It's not like you were just like one team. It's, you, you moved kind of through, so you got, a, you got a, your hands on a lot of 
the different um, um, I have a whole new respect for what goes in to a 3d printer it's not like I'm gonna look at them the same when I walk into us into Best Buy or anywhere I now I could say I know how that thing goes together and I've had my hands all in it <laughs> so and I have a just a great deal of respect for um, the program Martian has here it's been a great experience yeah, I feel pretty good about it. I mean, there's definitely rough spots. So we got 13 printers. For me, the highlight is actually showing that we've got that six-foot baby actually going. But definitely, uh, so we printed all the parts. And the difficulty that we ran into this time was that uh, because the extruder that we have doesn't have a cooling fan, some of the parts sag a little bit. And because of the quality control, we, were, we had a really hard time putting in the magnets for the magnetic attachments. So that, that pretty much, like, killed the flow so we end up staying up late last night and we're actually finishing up today but as far as otherwise the experience I mean people were awesome I think the energy with everybody learning and teaching each other the whole group workflow I think that worked really well like pretty much the whole day yesterday I mean people were busy you couldn't find a person it's like I tried to find a person okay help me do this they there weren't everyone was pretty much diligent doing their own stuff and working as a team so I, I felt really great about that I definitely see the potential that we can do this like, you know, eight to six. I think we can definitely do it. We didn't do it this time, so maybe next time. But uh, overall, great experience and just keep doing it until we work out all the little rough spots is the idea.